Warren Buffett, one of the wealthiest men on the planet, has quite a few controversial opinions. And one of them is his belief that passive income is a myth. That's right. The man who's built his fortune through shrewd investments and astute business decisions thinks that relying solely on passive income streams is a recipe for financial disaster. But why? Isn't passive income the holy grail of financial independence? Don't we all dream of the day when we can sit back and let our money work for us? Well, today we're going to explore Warren Buffett's controversial opinion on passive income and the truth about the rich getting richer. Get ready for a deep dive into the world of finance as we explore the pros and cons of passive and active income streams, the advantages that the wealthy have over the average person when it comes to accumulating wealth, and the downsides of relying solely on passive income streams for financial security. So buckle up and get ready for a wild ride as we uncover the truth about why Warren Buffett says passive income is a myth and how the rich are getting richer through active income streams. Before we dive into the topic, let's take a moment to understand why passive income is such a popular topic in the world of finance. In a nutshell, passive income is money that you earn without having to actively work for it. Think of it as money that comes in while you're sleeping or lounging on a beach somewhere. Passive income sounds too good to be true, right? That's exactly what Warren Buffett, the legendary investor and financial expert, thinks. In fact, Buffett has been quoted as saying that passive income is a myth. Yes, you heard that right, a myth. Now, before you get too upset, we will get to properly examine Buffett's opinion in the course of the video. But before we do that, let's get the basic facts resolved. First, passive income is income that you earn from sources that require little or no effort on your part. Unlike active income, which is income that you earn from working a job or providing a service, passive income streams allow you to earn money while you focus on other things. So, what are some examples of passive income streams? Well, there are many types but some of the most common include rental income, dividend income, and interest income. Let's start with rental income. This is money that you earn from renting out a property that you own, such as a house or an apartment. If you're able to charge more in rent than you're paying in mortgage, property taxes, and maintenance costs, you're making a profit. And if you're able to do this consistently over time, rental income can be a great source of passive income. Next up is dividend income. This is money that you earn from owning stocks that pay dividends. When a company makes a profit, it can choose to pay some of that profit out to its shareholders in the form of dividends. If you own stocks that pay high dividends, you can earn a steady stream of passive income. Finally, there's interest income. This is money that you earn from lending money to someone else. When you deposit money into a savings account or a CD, you're essentially lending money to the bank. In exchange, the bank pays you interest on your deposit. If you're able to find a high-yield savings account or CD, you can earn a decent amount of passive income. Now that we have a better understanding of what passive income is, let's dive into Warren Buffett's opinion on it. As you may know, Warren Buffett is a highly respected investor and financial expert. He's known for his investment philosophy of value investing, which involves buying undervalued stocks and holding them for the long term. So, how does Buffett's investment philosophy relate to passive income? Well, Buffett argues that the key to getting rich is not through passive income, but through active income. In other words, he believes that you need to work hard, invest in yourself, and make smart decisions in order to build wealth. Buffett's argument against passive income is that it can create a sense of complacency. If you're earning money without putting in much effort, you may not be as motivated to work hard and make smart decisions. This can lead to a lack of growth and ultimately a lack of wealth. Think of passive income like a shortcut that promises to get you to the top of the mountain without any climbing. Sure, it sounds tempting, but it doesn't work that way in real life. Just like how you need to climb a mountain to get to the top, you need to put in the work and effort to build real wealth. Passive income can be compared to a stagnant pond that doesn't receive any fresh water. It may look nice and peaceful, but it's not a source of growth or life. In contrast, active income is like a flowing river that constantly brings fresh water and nutrients, providing life to everything around it. Buffett's argument against passive income isn't just based on theory. He has actual data to back it up. Buffett has famously stated that he pays a lower tax rate than his secretary, despite being one of the wealthiest people in the world. This is because the majority of his income comes from capital gains, which are taxed at a lower rate than ordinary income. He also has years of experience and success to back it up. He's built his wealth through active income by investing in undervalued companies and holding on to them for the long term. This is a testament to the fact that wealth building requires active engagement, smart decision making, and a willingness to take calculated risks. Now that we see the angle from which Warren Buffett claims that passive income is a myth, 
The next question that comes to mind is, why do the rich keep getting richer? Contrary to popular belief, the wealthy accumulate their wealth through active income streams, such as running a successful business or investing in stocks. Also, the wealthy have the ability to leverage their assets and investments to create even more wealth. It's like a snowball effect where the more wealth they accumulate, the easier it becomes to create even more wealth. Come to think of it, it's very much like the YouTube algorithm too. The more people like your videos and subscribe to your channel, the higher your videos rank. So go ahead and if you haven't done so already, like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks! To understand better the advantage the wealthy person has when it comes to getting richer, think of it as a game of chess. The wealthy have more pieces on the board and can make strategic moves that the average person cannot. Imagine trying to climb a mountain with no gear or experience, while the wealthy have the best gear, trained guides, and years of experience climbing. That's how it feels for the average person when trying to accumulate active income compared to the wealthy. One of the biggest advantages that the wealthy have is access to capital. They have the resources to invest in themselves, their businesses, and their ideas. They can afford to take calculated risks and make large investments, which often result in significant returns. This access to capital allows them to create more opportunities and accumulate more wealth. Another advantage that the wealthy have is their network. They have access to high-level contacts, mentors, and advisors who can help them make informed decisions and provide them with opportunities that are not available to the average person. They have a higher chance of finding the right business partners or investors, which can lead to successful ventures and increased wealth. The wealthy also have more time to dedicate to accumulating active income. They can afford to hire assistants, managers, and staff to handle administrative tasks, freeing up their time to focus on strategic moves and high-level decision-making. This allows them to scale their businesses and investments faster, leading to even more wealth accumulation. Lastly, the wealthy have a mindset that allows them to take risks and be more entrepreneurial. They have the confidence and resources to pursue their passions and ideas even if it means taking on more risk than the average person. They understand that failure is a part of the process and are willing to learn from their mistakes and try again. Now let's look at some real-world examples of wealthy individuals who have achieved financial success through active income streams. These individuals have worked tirelessly to build their businesses and invest in opportunities that have provided significant returns. One prime example is Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon. Bezos started Amazon as an online bookstore in 1994 and has since grown it into one of the largest companies in the world. His active income stream came from running the company and continuously expanding it into new markets, such as cloud computing and streaming services. Bezos's hard work and dedication have resulted in a net worth of over $160 billion. Another example is Mark Zuckerberg, the co-founder and CEO of Facebook. Zuckerberg started the social media giant in 2004 while he was a college student. His active income stream came from building and scaling the company, developing new features, and acquiring other companies like Instagram and WhatsApp. Zuckerberg's active income stream has led to a net worth of over $100 billion. A third example is Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX and Tesla. Musk started as an entrepreneur in the early 2000s, co-founding PayPal and later moving on to Tesla and SpaceX. His active income stream comes from building and scaling these companies, developing new technologies, and pushing boundaries in the electric car and space industries. Musk's active income stream has led to a net worth of over $200 billion. In conclusion, these real-world examples illustrate how successful individuals have accumulated wealth through active income streams. They've worked hard, taken calculated risks, and pursued their passions with determination and grit. While not everyone may achieve the same level of financial success, the lesson remains the same. Focusing on developing active income streams can lead to significant wealth accumulation over time. While passive income may seem like an attractive option for generating wealth without much effort, there are potential downsides to relying solely on it for financial security. Firstly, passive income streams can be unpredictable and subject to market fluctuations. For example, rental income may decrease due to changes in the rental market, dividend income may fluctuate based on company performance, and interest rates may change, affecting the returns on investments. Secondly, relying solely on passive income streams can lead to financial hardship if those streams dry up or underperform. For example, an individual who relies solely on rental income may experience financial hardship if their rental properties remain vacant for extended periods or if the rental market crashes. 
A cautionary tale of this is the story of Rich Dad Poor Dad author Robert Kiyosaki. Kiyosaki built a fortune through real estate investments and writing books on financial education. However, in 2012, he declared bankruptcy due to a combination of bad business decisions, lawsuits, and declining book sales. Kiyosaki relied heavily on passive income streams from real estate investments, and when those investments underperformed, he was unable to sustain his lifestyle. In conclusion, while passive income streams can provide financial stability and supplement active income streams, relying solely on them can have potential downsides. It's essential to understand the risks and limitations of passive income and diversify your income streams to ensure long-term financial security. Buffett's solution? He believes that we need to focus on creating more opportunities for people to earn active income. This means investing in education, creating more jobs, and ensuring that people are paid fair wages for their work. So, what's the bottom line? Is passive income a myth, or is it a reliable way to accumulate wealth? Well, as we've discussed today, there are pros and cons to both passive and active income streams. To recap, we started by introducing passive income and explaining how it differs from active income. We then delved into Warren Buffett's controversial opinion that passive income is a myth, and how his investment philosophy supports his argument. We discussed the advantages that the wealthy have over the average person when it comes to accumulating active income and provided real-world examples of successful individuals who've achieved financial freedom through active income streams. We then shifted our focus to the downsides of relying solely on passive income streams for financial security, such as the unpredictability of market fluctuations and the potential for financial hardship if those streams dry up or underperform. In a way, Buffett's argument is like a wake-up call. It reminds us that there are no shortcuts to building real wealth. Passive income may seem tempting, but it doesn't lead to the accumulation of real wealth. You have to put in the work, invest in yourself, and create value for others. This is the only way to build sustainable wealth that can last a lifetime. It's essential to understand that both passive and active income streams have their advantages and disadvantages. And while passive income can provide a reliable source of income, it's important to diversify your income streams to ensure long-term financial stability. As Warren Buffett once said, the rich get richer not because of passive income, but because of their active income. So, whether you're building a successful business, investing in stocks, or pursuing other active income streams, remember that consistent effort and hard work are the keys to financial success. Thank you for watching, and we promise even more fascinating insights into the world of finance.